Praise the Lord for this opportunity. It is great to serve God. It is great to know the Holy Spirit is in the leading of our lives. I praise God because His love for you is still the same yesterday, today, forever. His breath given to you, you still have it because His love never changed. Praise God. Amen. I praise God because of His love to talk about Him coming, to talk about Him. Praise the Lord. You have your Bible with you. Please turn with me to the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verses 36. It reads, But of the day and hour no one knows, even the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah, were so also will the coming of the Son of Man. For as in the days before the flood, they were eating, drinking, marrying, and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark and did not know until the flood came and took them all away, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. Praise God. His word is true from generation to generation. What is our priority to do is to watch and pray. My theme today, no one knows the day or hour when he is coming. Here's the illustration about Noah, the prophet Noah. God told him, build an ark. He built an ark. He told the people to repent. No, they did not. It's the same here, what we're doing. Jesus is coming soon. No one knows the hour, no one knows the day, but God knows. He's still giving us time to repent, to turn away from our wickedness and come back to Him. Because He's willing not for us to be perished, but for us to come to heaven and have an everlasting life with Him. I praise God today because it says here, but of that day and hour, no one knows, no one. No one knows. Reminds me of the book of 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 8 is read. One day with God is like a thousand years. Praise the Lord. One day, Jesus is coming soon. We must prepare our lives with Him. Because we don't know when He is coming. We don't know what we're doing marriages. We're giving marriages, partying. Here and there, like the day of Noah, no. until Noah went into the ark and shut the ark. And the flood comes and takes all of them out. Will be the same day when the Son of Man will be coming. Praise the Lord. What is our job and our priority is to do today? Is to watch our heart. It is to complete our task. It is to complete our call. It is to complete what God has blessed us with the talent. Because tomorrow is not promising. Tonight is not promising. Death arises at people's door like crazy. The time and hour is running. But God is willing that everyone who comes through Him, willing to come, will have life and have more abundantly. The cross of Jesus Christ is guaranteed for you. Your salvation is fulfilled in Calvary. It is finished. It is done. He said, it's done. But He's giving you a free choice in this life to accept or reject salvation. The whole world is busy, giving in marriages, partying, drinking, marrying, and going there and forth. But the Bible reminds us today of that day that no one knows, not even the angel of heaven, only the Father knows, just like in the days of Noah. People were busy, like here on earth. Here, you turn on the TV, the news is cluttered, filled with violence, 
filled with emptiness, lawlessness. The whole world is full of mess. But see, during that time, we must look up because our Savior is coming. He's coming very soon. As my theme today, no one knows the day or hour. Death arrives at people's door many days ago, days ago, weeks ago. We don't just wait. We don't just slack. We must prepare our heart, our heart to be right with God. Complete what He has instilled in us as we wait for the Lord, for His return. There's a work that must be done, that we must go and do. And while we are on it, we must know that He's coming soon. Do it right for the first time, because there is no way. Hell is promised for the Satan and his people, but not for you. We're going to heaven, as Jesus said, going to prepare a place for us. He can come any hour. He'll come any day. It reminded me of the book of 2 Peter, verse 3, chapter 3, verse 8. One day with God is like a thousand years. See? In Psalm 90, chapter 90, verses 4, it reads, For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday, when it is past, and like a watch in the night. Yes. Yesterday is gone. Today, we must watch and pre prepare for His coming. The only way we can do that is come, give our life to Jesus Christ. Come and believe salvation is yours. Only Jesus Christ can give you that peace and rest upon you. From there, you will discern the Holy Spirit work in your lives to know the hour and the day of His coming. Because we don't know. Jesus Christ is speaking through your life today. If you're tired of running, if you're tired of waiting for His return, I'm reminding you, don't give up. Walk straight with God. Your life now is important to Him. His promise is yes. His promise is to cross salvation for you. The job is finished. No one knows. No one knows the day of hour He is coming. Prepare your life in Jesus' name. Please, I ask that you pray with this prayer with me. Give your life back to Jesus Christ. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I am a sinner in need of a Savior. Lord, I ask your blood to cleanse my heart, my mind, and my soul. Help me, Lord, prepare my heart for the day, the hour you're coming. Jesus, I give you my life and my heart. Amen. Father, I thank you for your Holy Spirit. I preach the word of God. It is the breath of life. Your breath of life inspired word of God. I trust the Holy Spirit will lead and penetrate each soul for your kingdom. Lord, your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for your time. If Jesus does not return today, the next hour, next minute, or tomorrow, we will be here to tell you that Jesus loves you. I pray to God that the Holy Spirit will lead you to Him alone. And I love you with the love of the Lord. May you have a blessed day with Jesus. Amen.